How's it going folks? It's me, it's Mr. Stephen. I'm back once again. Now you might think to yourself, goodness gracious me, Mr. Stephen looks very at peace with himself today. And even though it is a beautiful day today folks, behind this calm, serene, uh, ruggedly handsome exterior lies uh, the mind of a man who's a little bit unsettled at the moment and I'll tell you why uh, I was out for a walk yesterday doing all my various checks and just making sure everything's tickety-boo along the prom and the beach of Worthing uh, when I became very fatigued you see when you carry around with you as many facts as I do uh, your legs do grow somewhat weary and uh, I, I do feel the need more often than I'd like to to take the weight off them and have myself a little sit down in one of the many many beautiful benches they have along the prom dedicated to the old dead people. Uh, I sat down on uh, one of these benches and next thing you know there's an elderly gentleman sitting beside me and he's looking at me. Uh, he proceeds to introduce himself as Nathaniel. They said, I've seen you out and about. You think you're a cock of the walk, Mr. Stephen? I've seen you splurging out all your factual information. And although I think you're a bit too big for your britches, I very much like the cut of your jib. He said, I know many things that you don't know because I've been around for quite a long time. And this is true, folks. You see, as I said to you, Nathaniel uh, is an old man, uh, old enough definitely to remember all the, the smelly chaos that ensued from the, uh, the great double Worthing pumper failures of 1952. I'll tell you about that another day. And he said, I know a great many things that you don't know about. Uh, would you not agree it's a very strange world? And I said, it is a strange world, Nathaniel. And he said, there exists very little to nothing uh, new under the sun. And I thought to myself, this is, this is some character. This fellow, Nathaniel, check him out. What on earth is coming? But what was coming, folks? Even I did not expect. He said, I've got a challenge for you, Mr. Steve. And the challenge is this. I need you to think up one thing that you could not possibly buy online today. And if I find out right here, right now, he didn't say now like that, obviously, because he was from England. He said, if I find that you can buy this thing, then you, Mr. Stephen, are taking me out for dinner at a restaurant of my choosing. Well, folks, I took the challenge. I thought long and hard for at least two minutes. And then I turned to Nathaniel and I said, I've got it for you, Nathaniel. There's no way this can possibly exist to buy on the online marketplace. And he said, far away. I said, right. My item that can't possibly exist is a candle that bears the image of Deirdre and Dev in bed together. Deirdre and Dev from Coronation Street, of course, folks, in bed together at the height of their lusty, lusty relationship on the street. So Nathaniel gets out his phone and he knows a wee bit of typing and scrolling and then he shows it to me. And you won't believe it, folks. I didn't believe it either. What he presented me with was an image of a candle which does indeed feature Deirdre and Deb together in bed, having a, a little post-coital relaxing session and a cuddle. It's quite upsetting. Uh, it was upsetting at the time. I don't know uh, if you were watching Coronation Street back in the day, but it, it was unsettling and it continues to be unsettling. So folks, looks like I have to take Nathaniel out to dinner at a restaurant of his choosing. Now, I'm not quite sure what his designs are. 
I am hoping that he doesn't want me to take him and treat him to a, 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 a very fancy restaurant, a romantic restaurant. I, I sort of, uh, I have him down as more of a wimpy sort of fella, or perhaps Garfunkel's, but we'll see. So we exchange numbers and uh, I'm waiting to hear from him uh, when, as to when I have to take him out for dinner. Folks, I'll just leave that one with you. It's, it's quite a thing that happens to me. These things do happen to me every now and again. Uh, it just comes with the territory. People know who I am down here, you see. Uh, but folks, it's a very strange world where, where something like that can exist readily on the internet. I'm sure you'll all agree. Uh, what next? Deidre Bardo Bunting, perhaps? You mark my words, folks. No good can come of this.